After the 2018 Olympics, I decided that I wanted to be a bobsleigh driver. I traveled to Lake Placid, New York to participate in a three-week driving school that was put on by the International Federation. It's one of those tracks that uh, it scares even the most seasoned pilots. The one day that really tested me was a day where I crashed three times. In the sport of bobsleigh, we wear uh, motorcycle helmets, and some of the helmets don't come with like a double lens to stop fogging. So what we do as a substitute is put ski goggles in. And so the person had sold me kid-sized ski goggles. They were flipping in and pushing my eyes up, and so I couldn't see where I was going, and I was crashing every run. I was in a lot of pain. I kind of was like teetering on the point of, I just want to go home and forget this day, and let me just go for one more run. One of the Jamaican pilots, after seeing me basically crying at the bottom, said, you have the wrong size goggles. And she was like, here, this is the best way you can fix it for now. I was just like, OK, maybe she's right. And so I went for one more run. It was not a pretty run. You're battered and bruised. You're sore. And the last thing you want to do is hit the same spot that you've now crashed on. But I made it down. I know what I'm doing. It really was the goggles, and it wasn't my driving ability. It kind of showed me a different side of resiliency that I didn't know I had. Yeah, I'll never go back to goggles again.